Ever since the introduction of double movement binds, we've seen more and more pros such as Tifu, Booger, and Mongrel adopt this new style of movement. In this quick and short video, I'm going to uncover how you can also adopt this movement without the use of double movement binds. But first, for those that are unfamiliar with what double movement binds are or what they do, essentially it's the it's the best way to replicate control of movement when strafing left or right on keyboard and mouse. So for example, if we jump into a game, here I'm just in a creative, if I want to place walls on the left side, I have to make slight micro adjustments. Um, so as you can imagine in late game scenarios when you're needing to rotate, uh, you only get a brief view of what's going on on your left or on your right if you're placing walls on your right. And so on and so forth. However, if I get this secret little trick up, now that I've input this setting, I can now get that console-like movement on keyboard and mouse without the use of uh, double movement binds. Before I show you what I'm using to achieve this, um, it is important to note that Epic Games hasn't released an official statement as to whether what I'm about to show you is okay. Uh, so I would ref refrain from using it in competitive scenarios. However, um, as far as I'm aware, there are some pros that are using this specific program and it doesn't seem game breaking in any way so i imagine that epic games will allow it but until they do release an official statement i would be a bit hesitant to use it in um, cash cups for example so really simply you just want to download key remapper once you've installed it it takes two seconds to download so once you've installed the program you'll be left with this empty screen you just double click to add you assign a key, so for, for this instance, it will be our left and right. So we start with, let's start our, with our left. So we put A in. We then also want to put A in here. We then want to check this extended key box and then we assign it to a bind that we don't currently use in game. So a good option would be something like right shift um, because that's on the other side of the keyboard to our WASD. We then press OK and that's one of them done. We then head over, do our D key, again, D, extend the key, and we then assign it to a different key, for example, right control. When that's all done, we press play, so we don't want to pause it. Once that's all done, you wanna go into your settings, change the second bind for your A and D to whatever you've assigned it to. Uh, so in this case, it's right shift, right control. Once you've adjusted your key binds, you'll have that nice console movement on keyboard and mouse without having to press any extra binds. Um, so yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully you learned something. Please give this video a thumbs up if you did. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. I'm gonna be posting a lot of Fortnite content, especially in the new year. Um, so it'd be cool to have you along. Without further ado, I will see you all in the next one. Take care guys, bye bye.